Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is November 3rd, so hope you have a blessed day today. God bless every single one of you. Uh, as of the 4 a.m. update on, on Hurricane Ada, it has rapid intensified. It is still 923 millibars. It is still 150 miles per hour beast. Now, here's a track uh, guidance according to NOAA. That's going to go down from a major to a tropical storm, so it's going to be some quickly degrading on this storm and then it's going to turn after it goes past Belize and via depression and then a storm towards uh, the Caribbean now if you look at it I can show you that it is weakening very quickly even though it is a beast right now it will weaken quickly now if you look at the 100% of impacts for tropical storm force winds for Nicaragua and also uh, the track shows that it turns into a tropical uh, storm right around here right on the border of Nicaragua but if you it reaches out a little further of 30 to 40 percent of winds of impacts so of who's going to get that now the HMON shows that it actually is a, is going to be a 931 millibar uh, before it goes but the H uh, wharf shows more the H wharf shows it's going to intensify down to a 919 and it looks like the eye is kind of blowing itself uh, large so the H wharf, if you ask me, I don't think is correct. Even though it says 919, which is crazy strong, I'll show you why. Here it is, your shot right now. This is it right here. You can see that the eye is starting to close up. It's actually starting to weaken instead of strengthen, like the H wharf uh, talked about. Look at it. You can see it closing up. It still has lightning around. It still has a lot of power. It's still a beast, but it is not intensifying more. It is weakening before the, the eye gets on landfall. Now here's according to the Euro what you're going to be dealing with, uh, Nicaragua and Honduras. This is your 10 meter wind gust. And if you look on the top right, you'll see it gets to 168. And that is 104 miles per hour wind gust. Then it jumps down to 140 and it stays around 120 and 140 for a couple of days. Then it jumps down to 50 miles per hour uh, for the rest of the days, which is all the way till Thursday. So it's going to be strong all the way until Thursday on your wind gusts. Then it strengthens again on its way out. Now this is your total precipitation that you're going to get out of all this rainfall. This is 48 hours. Three days. And then a full five days when it pulls away from you. And if you look on the top right, well, if you look at a color bar, you can see the the purple, the dark purple, all the way to the bright purple. And that's everybody that's infected in these areas. The dark purple is 10 inches of rainfall. The light, the light purple is 20 inches of rainfall. So in between those two degrades is what you're going to get. Now this is a new ensemble of everything that, of course, what we have for, from, uh, from NOAA and the guidance. This is what they predicted to, to a path for after it leaves uh, Central America and if you notice the HMON is showing that it's going to go all the way towards Tampa uh, GPS shows the Gulf nav gem shows uh, the Goes off to Atlantic and becomes, a, and becomes a fish storm and I like that story right there But when I loaded up nav gem for Nicaragua right now, it's showing that it's a depression So it's definitely not on track. I don't know why it's usually a good a model to go by but this is what we have so far, and the CMC shows that it's going to go up and turn. So we've got to definitely keep our eye on these uh, on the storm as it goes even closer. Now here's your SpaghettiOs for the Caribbean of what's, what's predicted, what the paths could be for these uh, possible locations. Now if it comes this early, as you can see, it can get down to a hurricane in any of these blue areas. And as it goes forward, these are the possibilities that it could be at. But then you'll start to see that the longer it waits, the more it's going to intensify and become 960 millibars. And then there's more possible locations. But there definitely is going to be a curve back towards Florida. So we definitely got to watch for that. And the reason why is because there's a lot of dry air coming in and it's moving everything Florida. I'll show you in just a minute. Now here's your, your ensembles of where the possible locations for these cells could go to. And right here, we're on the five days. And as we move forward, they try and go towards the Gulf. They try and go towards Louisiana. Matter of fact, the GFS V16 
There you go. There's 10 days. The GFS V16 shows that it actually goes through the Gulf, and this might be a problem for uh, Texas as well as Louisiana and Lake Charles. So please pay attention, guys. Now, this is your, your uh, 31 members is still loading up. We don't have all the shots, and I didn't want to wait a whole nother hour. But that's the shots we got. That's the shots that's showing that it could be for any possible locations at any possible time. Uh, it's going to be another hour for that even to even load up uh, completely. Now, for your East Coast, this is your low-pressure system for the GFS V16 Peril. This is what I wanted to show you. Now, if you look down here by, by the Cuba, you'll see our system moving up, and it's showing that it's going to be a tropical storm for everybody. And you can talk, you're talking Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba, uh, South Florida, parts of Bahamas. And then it still shows, just like yesterday, is showing two low pressure systems with an issue and they do a Fujiwara effect as a hurricane and then it intensifies and goes towards the Florida panhandle. And there's the 10 days. Now the GFS, if we look at it as it goes through and see, see what happens after it leaves Central America, since the GFS also shows that it's a tropical storm for everybody, so it's majorly downgraded. And I'll show you exactly what happens. Just give me a moment. But then when it goes towards the Gulf, it gets pushed back. And then instead of going towards Florida, it goes south. Then it tries again to come into Gulf after the low pressure leaves. But, of course, this is way far away. We really don't know what's going to happen after it gets pushed south. I just want to show you what the outcome could potentially be. Now, th this is for everybody and for your total precipitation for Jamaica, uh, Cayman Islands, Cuba. This is according to the GFS, how much rainfall you're going to be getting from this, from this run so far as of today. And once again, if you look on the right, you'll see the, the millibars, I'm uh, sorry, the millimeters for the rain. The dark purple is 10 inches of rainfall. The light is 20 inches plus of rainfall. So be aware if you're in that area. Now here's a look from, from the uh, GFS from the low pressure system going through the, the Gulf. So you can see kind of what it does to everybody. It turns into a tropical storm by the Cayman Islands. goes across by Bahamas. Still a tropical storm. Passes by the Florida Keys, a tropical storm, and then it heads south. Gets around the low pressure system, I'm sorry, the high pressure system, and comes back. And I'll, 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 I don't see it going towards Texas. I know I can see that question. I don't see it going towards Texas, but it does show later on it is going to do some kind of hook. Now, Cuba, your total precipitation for, uh, according to the Euro model, this is so you can compare. The GFS is what I showed you a minute ago. This one is the Euro. So Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Cuba. Uh, take a look at, at this model. This is the same thing I just showed you. And the same thing. Dark purple is 10 inches of rainfall. Light purple is 20 inches of rainfall. Now here's your Euro uh, from the golf shot so we can see exactly what happens. This is five days out. It's showing that it's going to become a tropical storm just like the other systems. But the Euro shows something a little different. It shows it actually gets stronger into a hurricane and passes back by into the Gulf. Then it gets around a low pressure, and instead of going towards Louisiana like a couple of them did, it shows that it actually turns back towards Florida again. So we got to keep our eye on this. It's still too far away to see exactly what could be going on. But here's your shot from, from the the Cuba and the Jamaican and so the uh, Florida Keys can see how close it gets to them. Tropical storm right past you, right over Cuba the whole time. Intensifies to a hurricane. There it goes. And it comes back around. You really can't see much on that shot after that. Now here's your look from Florida so you can see how close it does come to the to Florida Keys. And then you can see the curve back. And it starts getting to 168. It was at 161, but it, it gets weakened, and I'll tell you why in just one second. Now, here's your look from the Euro model, and this is what's simulated so you can see the dry air, and you can see what gets involved in the system. This is what weakens it down. Now, when it leaves uh, Central America and heads towards 
uh, Cuba and Jamaica, it starts get, encountering some dry air and a lot of wind shear. A lot of dry air and a lot of wind shear. Now, the, if you watch it, you'll see the wind shear just rips off the whole top layer uh, of this beast. It's just ripping it. But it still continues to want to push west. And when it does, half of it is gone with it. Look at that. Half the beast is all it's just shaved off. Hopefully that kills that in a couple of days when we get updated. And then it still continues to power through. It's even intensifying. Even right there, you can see it intensified. But it's too strong for it to handle, and it turns back to the east again towards Florida. Now, here's your, your precipital water that you're going to see for Jamaica. This is their storms for Cuba, uh, Cayman Islands. This is kind of gives you a, a tell of how your storms are going to be. Now, Jamaica, if you notice, you're going to be in and out of heavy rain bands. So, are, so it's Cayman Islands for a few days. You're just going to be in and out. And then the storm is going to come through. And we don't know the exact track of what this is going to do. This is what we're seeing so far. But you are going to be in and out of rain bands. So don't, don't be fooled thinking that it's passed because the rain cleared up, please. And here's your shot from the Gulf of Mexico to see exactly what happens with that transition. About Euro, of course. And you can see after it goes by, the, by Cuba and Florida Keys, it goes ahead west. And then when it heads west, it gets shaved off a lot of its power. It downgrades, but it looks like it tries to intensify right there. And then it still heads to the west, to the east, to the Florida. It can't, it can't sustain itself. But it's trying to power up. We need to keep our eyes on this. We need to stay close on this, guys. I just want to give y'all a brief update. Let y'all know what was going on. Plus, anybody in Nicaragua and Honduras checking in. Let them know immediately what's going on with the rain floods and what could possibly happen to them. Because they're going through so much. It is unbelievable. So God bless everybody involved. I will update this afternoon as the models do update and the information comes out so I can let everybody know what is going to happen. But I'd like to praise. I'd like to praise God every day, every morning. But most of all, most of all for, for Nicaragua and Honduras and everybody in Central America, God bless you. I hope you come out of this okay. I pray God puts you under his wing. Psalm 150. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent great greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath, that have breath, praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. God bless you all. I hope you have a great day. I do appreciate y'all for helping out and watching the video. Uh, Nicaragua, Honduras. I hope that y'all get over this quickly. It looks like you're in a couple of days of heavy rainfall and some serious winds. So God bless you. Please give me a, some help and like the video. Share it to people you think that may need it. All glory does go to God. Amen.